Hello, uh, Matthew 23, verse 9. And call no one your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. These are the words of Jesus, okay? But be, oh wait, neither be ye called masters, for there is one, for one is your master, Christ. One is your master, God? No, one is your master, Christ. And call no man father upon the earth, for there is one father which is in heaven. If Jesus is God, then he has to be a father too. Oh. But, neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, Christ. You are Christ, and Christ is God's. Okay? You belong to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ belongs to God. You want that chapter in verse 2? Okay. You'll get it in a second. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 22 and 23. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Christ's. And Christ's, Christ is God's. You want to see it? It's right there. Right there. See that? Okay. That's hierarchy. That's a hierarchy right there. You're not Christ, but you are Christ's. And Christ isn't God. Christ is God's. Christ is God's. Okay, there you go. Uh, if you try to take the Christ and make it God, it's the spirit of God. God is holy and God is spirit. And the Christ is the token we have until the redemption, full possession, okay, at the return. And we become cookie cutters of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was a man until God raised him from the dead. At that resurrection, he became a God because he wasn't human. He never passed through walls before he was resurrected from the dead. He didn't go out to the imprisoned devil spirits to show himself alive before he was resurrected by God. He didn't show himself alive as the first fruits from the dead before Jesus, God raised him from the dead and he presented himself to the temple. Touch me not, he told Mary. The only one he saw in between his resurrection and him presenting himself to God in the temple as first fruits from the dead. Touch me not, for I have not ascended unto my father, which has shown himself alive to the temple. But go unto my brother, and tell them, I go unto my father and unto your father and unto my God and unto your God. And he, the Christ, Jesus, said this in his resurrected body, being a God himself. Now, you can believe whatever you want. But there's a decision to be made unless you really don't care what God says. Psalms 138.2, Isaiah 26.3, Jeremiah 15.16, okay? Have fun. I only do this because I love God, and you need the truth. <laughs>